Hi, I'm Tim, welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Breitling Navitimer 01 46mm with spectacular blue sunburst dial. This in-house caliber oversized Navitimer can be seen and purchased on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete price details for this in-house caliber Breitling Navitimer 01. Now you can see on my wrist 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch is large. There's no doubt about it. This is a Navitimer of the modern era and yet it does stay true to the proportions, not the dimensions, but the proportions of the original reference 806 and it recapitulates those classic character lines with beautiful definition. 46 is across the round of the case from 9 to 3 not inclusive of chronograph pushers or crown. In terms of thickness, frankly it's not as thick as I expected. 14 and a half millimeters. It should slide underneath a sport jacket or blazer sleeve or perhaps a loose sweater, but not a tight dress cuff. From lug to lug, again big, but not as big as it could have been. A comparably sized 46 millimeter IWC Big Pilot is going to be far broader than the 52.5 millimeter lug to lug span of this Navitimer 01, which is why I would say that if your wrist is my size, you're going to have no trouble wearing this watch. And perhaps down to 15 centimeters in circumference, you are going to wear it with security and style. The watch has heft to it. It's the kind of timepiece that, though in stainless steel, nevertheless reminds you that it is a cut above mainstream horology. This is a luxury watch experience, and that continues in the substance and quality of the strap, which is aviation style calfskin, but in a beautiful navy blue, with contrasting stitch, plenty of bolstering for presence and volume down the center, sheer cut gloss edges, and a substantial full polish Breitling folding clasp. You can see that it is beautifully rendered, low in profile, and features a minder system such that excess strap length from the opposite side is tucked underneath the clasp. Not not only does that obviate the need for minder loops that can clutter the strap, but it also allows the strap to be completely unperforated so you don't gouge it over the long term. Once you clamp it down to your size, it's basically just going to stay that way forever, allowing the strap to wear long and durable service life. Now you'll also note the watch is all of high polish, but its case lines help to break up the mass of metal. You can see the sharp character lines of the lugs, beautifully defined as the Navitimer has been since its 1954 debut. Yes, 54, not 52. You'll also note that the bevel of the lug is beautiful and blends with the case line giving way to a wonderfully knurled circular slide rule calculator. Now you can use this thing for multiplication and for division and once you're handy with it you can get quite quick and easily outstrip your friends with their iPhones and galaxies when you're calculating the tip at a restaurant. It's also convenient for general purpose multiplication and division. Now you'll also note the watch features the classical combination of the circular slide rule and chronograph and the B01 caliber within is Breitling's own in-house chronograph caliber. Now the spectacular sunburst blue dial promises something special beneath and the display case back, extraordinary for Breitling and quite rare from this company delivers on the promise of something special within. You're looking at the Breitling Caliber B01 in-house, three-day power reserve, automatic winding, four hertz. It features 47 joules. It features a column wheel. So the column wheel, which is your function selector, visible here, polished. You can see it interacting with the horns of its actuating levers. Superb tactile and audible feedback as you use it. Now what you can't see is the vertical clutch. The vertical clutch mechanism allows you to run the chronograph continuously with no additional wear and tear to the mechanism. It also allows you to stop it without stagger and restart it without jumping. A distinct advantage over a lateral clutch. Now of course it does feature hacking seconds, pull the crown, stop the balance. You can synchronize the watch precisely to a reference time. There is a quick set for the date. You'll also note it is a COSC Swiss chronometer and appropriately it features the extremely precise and broadly understood Etichron fine regulation system for rate and beat. This allows the watch to be very precisely regulated by virtually any watchmaker. It's an excellent system and well chosen by Breitling for use on this model. Of course the caliber being all Breitlings, it's also nicer in finish and specification, although it is machine finished than a typical Breitling movement and it is fun, quite novel still to see a Breitling movement on a display case back. The watch has three ATM water resistance however, so keep this one high and dry.
Versatile, handsome, and visually spectacular, this watch represents a strong tie to Breitling's history. While the Chronomat may be the best-selling model family since the company was re-established in the early 80s, and the Super Ocean Heritage may be the best model selling today, it is the Navitimer that is the Speedmaster Professional of Breitling that is the Submariner of Breitling. You can own a superb rendition of the Navitimer by visiting this Breitling Navitimer 01 on our website.